Hey, my name is Sean Pennington. I manage special ops here at MineGrub, and that is mostly talent acquisition and assisting business development on various initiatives. Today, I want to talk to you about acing the in-person interview for your next developer position, engineering position, whatever that may be. Um, so after you've passed the resume screen and done well in the phone interview, they've invited you in person. When a company invites you in person, they want you to do well. Interviewing is very time consuming and expensive for a company, so it really behooves you to do the research and the preparation necessary to ace it. Uh, first thing I'm going to talk about is preparing. To prepare well for an interview, you need to think about detailed examples and responses to any question that might come your way. So things related to your background, your experience, um, even hobbies. You know, it's good to talk about those things with companies. Um, a good answer when asking about past experience will consist of a specific example from your past uh, job. So you'll be talking about the challenge at hand, you'll be talking about the outcome, um, you'll be talking about ways you may want to do it differently um, now that you've had time to reflect on that. Um, to learn more about that style of interviewing, research behavioral-based interviewing. That's a very popular style. Um, next thing I want to talk about is researching. Um, for this, it's it, it might be common sense, but some people don't know to talk about the fact that they are staying current on industry trends, the articles that they read about new frameworks and tools and language updates and things like that. So it's good to talk about that. You know, it's your passion, it's your craft. You should share those interests. Um, the next thing is to know the company. Now, most people do general research, but dive a little deeper if you can. You know, learn more about the industry that they work in, their competitors and things like that. It'll really show an interest in the company itself, which is very important. Um, Past that, you know, ask the questions that you can't find online, for sure. Um, be transparent when you're asked questions that you might not know the answer to or the complete answer. It's okay to not know. There's a lot of questions asked out there that, you know, people try to just make things up on the fly. You know, tell them you don't know, but tell them how you might approach it on if it happened to work, where you were given a challenge or a task where you just haven't done it before. What would you do? Would you go to Stack Overflow? Would you go to Google? What would you do? So it's good to have those kind of things prepared if you're asked a question that you don't know how to do it or how to answer. So um, the last thing is some of the more general things uh, that you'll find out there, but you'll be surprised how many people don't do it, but be mindful in your phone. Is your phone on vibrate or is your phone still on ringer? Definitely a big thing. Don't chew gum in an interview. Um, make sure that you maintain good eye contact. Interviews are very nerve wracking, but do the best you can with that. Um, and one of the other things is if you're interviewing at a financial firm, you should probably wear a suit. If you're interviewing at a tech firm, um, like it's more like low key, like MindGrub, it, it's fine to wear like jeans, a button down, you know, just be comfortable, um, but don't overdress for the company. Um, and yeah, so MindGrub is hiring right now. Um, whether you apply here or other places, I encourage you to think about these interview tips and I hope you uh, wish you the best of luck on your next interview.